Five must follow boundary lines with friends after your marriage. Hi friends, welcome to Marriage Realities, a comprehensive relationship channel. Today's video is all about the boundary line you should have with your friends after your marriage. It is true that spending time with your friends is pure fun. You can say just about anything to your friends because you're sure that your words will be taken in true spirit by them. But you're not confident that you can behave as you do with your friends with your spouse. You often feel reserved to open out your true feelings with your spouse as you are not sure how your words will be taken by him or her. Though you feel more relaxed in interacting with your friends than with your spouse, you should change after your marriage. You must definitely have a boundary line in your friendship. This boundary line in your friendship is crucial to save your relationship from many issues that might otherwise creep into it. It will also save your friendship from being destroyed forever. After your marriage, you'll feel many restrictions in interacting with your friends. You'll be unable to spend that much of your free time with your friends as you did before your marriage. Your marriage changes your life that much. Nothing to worry about though. It just means you're evolving and becoming more mature. You become committed to your family. You become answerable to your spouse. Your spouse expects you to spend your free time with him or her. Your family duties take up your time. This is a common changeover that happens to all couples. You must accept this change as you have no other go. But if you ignore your family duties and spend most of your free time with your friends, even after your marriage, it will only create tons of problems in your relationship. And if your friends are from the opposite sex, your spouse cannot digest your friendship as normal. You cannot blame your spouse for not understanding your friendship as he or she might not know your friends personally and so might have many reservations about him or her. Even if your spouse accepts your friendship, you should never overstep your boundary line with them. You should understand the simple fact that your life now travels along with your spouse. After your marriage, you have become accountable to your spouse. When you cannot digest your spouse spending hours away from home to be with his or her friends, it's only natural that he or she would find it impossible to digest your friendship. When you spend hours with your friends, it definitely brings unwanted resentment and bitterness into your marriage. This is the reason you should definitely set a boundary line in your friendship. If your friends are true and genuine, they will understand your changed situation and they will never try to step into your boundary line. What exactly are the boundary lines you should set in your friendship? Here are the five most important boundary lines you should draw with your friends after your marriage. The number one boundary line with friends after marriage is to lessen the time you spend with them. Before your marriage, you must have spent fun time with your friends for hours together. No one would have questioned you. But if you continue the same after your marriage, your spouse would definitely not like it. So you should curtail the time you spend with your friends. If you feel that your spouse should understand that your friends mean a lot to you, you are only plunging your relationship into deep trouble. Just reverse the situation. Imagine your spouse being away from home for hours together with his or her friends. How will you feel? You will feel angry that your spouse is giving priority to his or her friends over you. It is the same with your spouse. If your friends are genuine, they themselves will keep a respectful distance from you. The number two boundary line with friends after marriage is not discussing your personal issues. You might have confided all your life problems with your friends before your marriage. But your married life is so personal to you that you should never discuss it with your friends. You might be having relationship issues with your spouse. The person with whom you should discuss your relationship issues is your spouse. You can solve your relationship problems only when you discuss it with your spouse and not with your friends. When you discuss your personal relationship issues with your friends, it just means that you are letting down your spouse. And when your personal relationship issues becomes an open secret to your friends, it will definitely become a material for gossip. The number three boundary line with friends after your marriage is not asking for advice. Most of you make the great blunder of asking the advice of your friends to solve the relationship issues you are facing with your spouse. This is a mistake you should never make. Your friends do not know the real situation your relationship is facing. So, the advice given by your friends will never work for your marriage. If your spouse comes to know that you are seeking relationship advice from your friends, it will create even more relationship issues between you. I am sure this is something which you would never want to happen to your marriage. The number four boundary line with friends after marriage is not lending them money. You might think that good friendship means helping your friends when they need money. But this is something your spouse will never approve of. 
When you lend money to your friends without informing your spouse, it creates unwanted tension between you. Your spouse might have planned many things with that money for your family and if you take away that money to lend it to your friend, he or she is not going to like it. If your friends are true and genuine, they too will not ask you for money as they know you'll have your own financial commitments. The number 5 boundary line with friends after marriage is not inviting them in family outings without consulting your spouse. Your spouse hates it when your friends barge into your family time. Your spouse might have planned the outing as a family time. If you make the mistake of inviting your friends to join you, it makes your spouse fume with anger. Your spouse fumes in helpless anger for the lost privacy your friends create in your family outing. It is always better to distance yourself from your friends after your marriage. That too from friends of the opposite sex. You need not feel hurt that you are losing your friends just for the sake of saving your marriage. This happens in many marriages. Your relationship with your spouse is more important than your relationship with your friends. Do not ever choose your friends above your spouse. You will definitely regret it. Did this video make you understand why you should draw a boundary line with your friends after your marriage? Marriage realities will have many such relationship eye-openers. Subscribe to my channel to understand your marriage in a new light. Press the bell icon for updates about my latest relationship videos. Make love forever until death do us part your relationship goal.